Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're making calzoni. Now, these are seen in, in pizza shops. They're seen all around the different regions. Uh, the, 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 southern, the southern regions of Italy have a different style. Uh, in Sicily, I know that they're called banata, uh, or a different version is the scacciata. Now, that sort of originates from Catania. Uh, it's, it's essentially a, a pie filled with vegetables. Um, traditionally, it's vegetables. Um, broccoli, anchovies. You can put whatever you like, to be honest. Uh, there's, you know, just spinach. Now, in pizza shops, they, they call it a calzone, and you can basically have whatever topping you want or filling you want. Okay, so we'll be going through all the ingredients. As always, the ingredients will be in the description. I'll, I'll use the same dough recipe as for my normal pizza recipe, but we'll go through that because we're making a smaller amount because I'm only making the two calzone today. And that's about it. Um, the other thing is with the cheese, um, we'll be using the Cacio Cavallo cheese, which is a beautiful, again, Southern style cheese. Now, this is the sort of cheese that you'll see at a street market or a food market. They hang it over coals and it melts. And as it drips, spread it on the bread, it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, so we'll be using that cheese. We'll be using a beautiful hot um, uh, pork and fennel sausage, black olives and broccoli. So that'll be our filling for today's calzone. Okay, we'll, we'll get straight into showing you the ingredients and we'll get stuck into making the dough. Okay guys, here we go with the ingredients. There's our beautiful cacio cavallo cheese, our pecorino. We've got some nice hot fennel and pork sausages there. We've got the black olives. We've got a couple of uh, broccoli heads there. We've got some onion, We've got the salt and pepper. We've got the olive oil. Now for the dough, just we've got half a kilo of flour there, some yeast, some honey. Uh, the only other thing we'll need is water. Okay, we'll start by making the dough and we'll show you how to do that. Then we'll do the preparation of the calzone filling. We have our half a kilo of flour. Then in the larger bowl. We've got our warm water here, um, so I'll put the yeast in so it dissolves. Put half a, half a tablespoon of yeast. Now dissolve that well. Now we leave this for five minutes until it becomes foamy. I also put it my teaspoon of honey in there so it dissolves nicely now in the flour we will add a tablespoon of olive oil and some salt Okay, we'll just mix this through. Okay, it's been about five, 10 minutes, the yeast in the water. I've added the oil and the salt and the flour. Now we add the yeast, the water and the yeast. It's nice and foamy, five, 10 minutes. Put it all in, cup and a half of water
combine it well. You can use a spoon here, but I like using this spatula. Okay, when it's all combined and the bowl is nice and clean, at this point I like to knead it for at least five minutes until it gets nice and smooth. You're just folding it in on itself. Okay, it's been about four minutes. It's looking nice and smooth. A little bit more. All right. Some oil in the bowl. Pop it in. Plastic. Put it in a blanket for a couple of hours. Here we go. Leave it there for a couple of hours and we can now start on the prep. Let's prepare the broccoli. Just chop off the ends here, the stems, that much. Just get rid of the outer section. Basically just breaking these up, wash them well. Boil them in a salted water, three to five minutes until tender. Remember they'll be cooking a bit more in the oven. Once they're inside the pastry. Okay, so they are ready. Is that beautiful cheese? We're just slicing it. Now guys, if you can't get this cheese, just use mozzarella. That's fine. A little bit more. 
this does have a skin but it's actually edible if you're fussy you can peel it but no need our sausages now what we're doing here we'll be taking the skin off them and we'll just be cooking the meat okay very simple okay guys here's our nice broccoli like I said three to five minutes then we drain them and just keep keep it aside we'll come back and do the sausage mix doing the sausage now I've added some olive oil to the pan some onion, half an onion Give it a couple of minutes. Okay, once the onion's got a bit of colour, put in the sausage. So we're basically browning it. doesn't need seasoning as the uh, sausage has so much flavour through it and inside the calzone once we add the broccoli, the black olives, the two cheeses we're going to have plenty of flavour that's about it guys One to two minutes and then we put this aside ready for assembly okay it's been a couple of hours in the blanket it's looking beautiful we take it out we'll grab some semolina first some on the bench Take out the dough. Cut it in half. We shape it into a nice ball. Closed underneath, and sealed. We'll grab an airtight container, two more semolina. That in there. Do the same, the other piece. Give this another hour and then we come back and make up the calzone. Right, so it's been another hour. Take it out of the container. Okay guys, we start off by putting the dough on a oiled pizza tray. Now on the oil 
I also like to sprinkle some semolina. That gives it a nice texture as well when it bakes in the oven. So what we're doing, we're, we're stretching it around the tray, getting it as perfect to a circle as we can. That way when we fold it over, it'll be a perfect semicircle. Then once it's stretched out, making sure we leave a couple of centimetres around the edge for the filling. Start off with the broccoli. We sprinkle some pecorino romano, put in some olives. Then we can put some nice cacciocavallo cheese, beautiful cheese. Then after that, we can add the sausage mix. After the sausage mix, a little bit more pecorino romano. Then we top it off with a little bit more of the cacciocavallo cheese. Now we're pretty much ready to stretch it. Uh, you can, it's optional, but you can add a little bit of olive oil. Just be careful, don't put too much oil. Um, it might not, it, it will stop the edges from sticking. So be wary of that. So once we're ready to fold it over, we fold it over. Don't be afraid, it, it'll stretch pretty well. Don't be, don't be scared to handle it. It's a good, good dough. Now, when we stretch it over, we make sure that we just pinch it all the way around nicely, give it a good fold around. It's uh, a, an easy technique, just pinch it in between your thumb and index finger. Once that's done, you're pretty well ready. Finish it off with a, a slot on the top. That way it'll steam nicely and it won't blow up in the oven. Now, regarding cooking it, put it in a full maxed out oven, making sure that it only cooks for 15 to 20 minutes. Remember that all the ingredients are pretty well cooked. So all you're doing is making sure that the dough cooks and browns and just check it regularly turn it around every now and then and you should be perfect to go okay we'll see you when it comes out of the oven and then we'll cut it open and we'll see how nice it looks inside okay guys out of the oven it comes i'll have a look at that that looks absolutely beautiful we'll get ready now to cut it open and enjoy it. Beautiful. Okay, guys, out of the oven it comes. We cut it open. Have a look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Enjoy. <laughs> 